opportunity for this game. Well, the weather's cooperated, which is always fun, but it's a great game. It's the sort of game you guys have all the time. Two highly ranked teams, you know, it's a toss up, and we're going to really test our team because of the injuries we've had. Yes, so the Texas game, obviously, they played great. It was a huge win, and Virginia was down to the wire. Uh, can you talk about the excitement for the rest of this year, and obviously, with a lot of injuries, um, kind of how the team is feeling? This team has a great personality, as you well know. Every year, every team develops a, a different chemistry, a different personality. And from, from the first day of camp, this team really had a unique togetherness and bond, great leadership. And so despite all they've had to go through, they, they keep a very positive attitude. Okay, what's your favorite part about football weekends? Uh, it's meeting prospective student athletes, because I love talking to people who are thinking about coming here about all the reasons they should and what makes this place special. That's great. Thank you for joining me. Okay, we're going to get ready to watch the game. Go Irish! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm here with Rocket Ishmael. Thank you so much for joining me. You're welcome. Okay, talk to me about the atmosphere here. How is it being back? Okay, for me, right now it's a little bittersweet because my mother passed away uh, two months ago and it's like I remember the first time she was on television, we were playing against Penn State and uh, scored a touchdown. And then the cameras went right to her. Leslie Visser interviewed her. And it was on it like an overcast day like today. And she was right over there. And uh, I remember just how after the game, everybody's like, hey, we saw your mom, we saw your mom. And so I was always just proud of that moment. And also just thankful about how she was so proud that we went to Notre Dame and uh, just had a chance to be a part of this, this environment. So it's cool to be back. You know, it's a little, like I said, it's a little bit of sweet, but I absolutely love it and uh, I appreciate it more and more every year. That's great. Um, explain a little bit more what made you decide to come here and play. Okay, for me, from the time I was probably, uh, we moved to Pennsylvania, I was probably, I was like, 11 years old, my best friend at the time, Brian DeWire, who was a Notre Dame grad as well, his dad was one of the football coaches. And so I remember him literally telling me from the first time he met me, which you got to think about this now, I didn't weigh 100 pounds until I was like the summer before my junior year. So I was a tiny guy. And so playing football, I, on, even on this on this level, was like that doesn't even make sense. But every he's like, you want to play football at Notre Dame? You going to Notre Dame? And he would always tell me about just the just the great things about this university. And by the time I got to my senior year in high school, I was really fast, and everybody was like really interested. And it was like that was the only option in my mind. Like the only reason I went on other visits was because I was going to be able to have steak, lobster, and shrimp for dinner. That was it. So for me, this was it. So it wasn't it wasn't hard at all. I, I was just I was just amazed that it actually came to pass. I was like, wow, I'm actually here. So that was my that was my story. That's great. Now tell me about what Notre Dame has done for you since graduating. So for me, as as athletes, when you when you go out into the in the public space. There's a lower expectation of what you bring to the table because they feel like all your life you've developed your physical body and you don't have, you know, whether it's your spirit or your, your brains, a lot of times people kind of like, ah, yeah, you're an athlete and, you know, I know you can't communicate well or ah, whatever. However, for me, when people find out that I went to Notre Dame, it's like they raise their expectation level of what I bring to the table. And it is opportunity-wise, I'm going to get the benefit of the doubt compared to other athletes. And so it's been a blessing in that regard, in a general sense. It's really been a blessing. Well, Rocket, thank you so much for joining us.